probably one of the biggest games, if not the biggest game in the whole of Europe this week. Maybe only Chelsea, Man City are going to rival it. And I'll probably still come out on Inter versus Napoli. Inter plus 113, Napoli plus 210. Remember, uh, Napoli, eight points clear. Napoli double chance at minus 150. Napoli to score twice is at plus 135. Don't rule out Inter, though, because they are a class outfit on their day. And again, they know they win this game. They eat into the leader's lead. Um, Inter to score twice is at minus 110. Over three at plus 110. Are we going to see a goal fest here, Matty? I, I think this could be the exact opposite of what we just mentioned in the last game. And, and yeah, the numbers for this game are really, really good for goals, especially here. Uh, these two teams are averaging 3.22 goals per match. Um, and I see that Napoli team total at one and a half at plus 135. Every single time it's been at one and a half this year. I mean, if you would have blindly taken it, you would have been up, you know, multiple thousands of dollars by now this season. So I, I wouldn't I wouldn't argue against that one, but I, I don't know who's going to come out on top in this game. We have really good numbers for the over. We have fantastic numbers for both teams to score. Um, the only thing that kind of pushes back against the over numbers are the head to head numbers, which, you know, I don't weigh too heavily here. Um, but the over two and a half is only 41% in the last um, 20 meetings for these two teams. But I, th I think we could see a slugfest in this game. Both teams of scores hitting in 57% of matches um, as well. And what I really like about this game is actually corners. And I, I haven't seen a corner line for this game yet. Um, but over, over 10 and a half corners is going to grade out really high for this game. This is going to be um, the highest Ten average and a half. corner. I think it'll be that high. Yeah. Um, it, it's probably going to be a 10, but, but these two teams are averaging 10 and a half corners a game and the league average is 9.2. So we're, we're well above average here. And let's see if I can actually find a line on that. Um, and I haven't I mean, seen yeah, one I mean, yet. That, I, I fancy Inter have more uh, corners than Napoli. The, the beauty of this game is if Napoli do score, Inter are going to go completely uh, bonkers. Um, over three goals is plus 110. Both teams are scoring over. Which means then you, because obviously if there's only three goals in the game, one of them's got to win three nil. Otherwise, you get both teams scoring overs at minus one ten. Um, Mina, I don't see clean sheets here. I couldn't pick the winner if you put a gun to my head. I'd go with the home side. No, I mean Napoli are undefeated this season in the Champions League in Serie A. They're just completely undefeated. They're the only team in the top five leagues because PSG just lost as well to be undefeated. So I wouldn't bet against them at the moment. Um, also. Here's the thing, Kravatskeli is back and he's had a lot of time to think uh, to to really get himself back into the mood to scoring. They've been amazing in in so far in the friendlies. Um there's also Osiman. Lautaro Martinez, Lukaku, bad World Cup each. I know that Lautaro Martinez, you know, at the end of the day, like he created the last chance um for Argentina. He's just a won a World Cup, but he hasn't been amazing. And he needs to be like he's a streaky player. He's either brilliant for five matches or he's not. I think the the key player in all these matches has always been Brozovic, and he's not probably gonna play tomorrow. So again, that's a huge loss. They've been all right without Brozovic for a while, but against Napoli, he is really important. And not having him there makes a difference for me anyway. Um, Napoli have a pretty much a full team. And even if they're not playing awesome in up front, there's Raspadori. There's just so many changes that you can make, and they make very good changes. You just know that there's one yellow card, and Inzaghi is going to start taking off his players. So for me, this is a Napoli win. Um, the only thing is if it's not a win, it's a draw. I can't see Inter winning this at all, to be honest with you. Um, I don't have that much faith in the home side, especially not in their first game back. I don't know why I'm saying that. Maybe I'm being a little bit hard on them because they do have a beautiful squad, um, certainly more higher in value than the one that Napoli have. It's just that right now, um, I don't understand why Napoli would all of a sudden fall to a team that has really been struggling and struggling in especially in all the big matches. So they've really disappointed against Juventus. They've disappointed against Milan. So I don't know whether this is the match where they're suddenly going to show up against the league leaders who have been invincible so far. Yeah, I mean, uh, you just put a pin in my balloon now. Uh, Matty, are you saying over nine and a half corners at minus 110? I, I will let you guys know if I'm going to play it. I, I've looked into well, it I, a I little think we bit should. more. Should we, you're looking at yeah, 10 and a half. Yeah, we should. You're okay, looking yeah. at 10 and a half. How can I, we yeah. play it? Yeah, all right. So I'm I'm gonna get peer pressured into this bet, but yeah, I'll, I'll play. Nine, it's nine and a half at minus one fifteen. I I think it's really good value. I minus especially 15. for 
especially for Inter at home, I mean, they've, they've just been putting on clinics uh, most of the season, especially against good sides. Even against Bologna, but they gave up four against Bologna, and that one ended with eight. So, especially against the good sides here, they're, they're getting a lot of corners. So, we'll add that one for myself. Okay, can you make sure you add that on the uh, on the spreadsheet as well so that it helps yeah. my graphics team when they Wait, come to do the records? Yeah. Yes, just add it. Last six matches between the two sides, Napoli have never won, so that can help you. Napoli have never won? No, not in the last six matches wow. against Napoli. Wow. They've never won. Wow. This either been a draw or it's been yeah. an interwin. win. I, think I do feel like the look at this game uh, as a live betting as well because Napoli go up, you can then maybe have a double chance on Inter. Inter go two one up, you can come back on Napoli. You could end up having both sides and win both ways. Uh, let's have a little look at the official picks, but I think this is one of those. Maybe a little lineup check, but I definitely see goals. The line is set at three, but both teams are scoring over is near up the same price. So that's what I did. I went with both teams to score an over two and a half at minus 110. And then I don't care who wins. Napoli draw no bet is at plus 130. Also, what about Napoli uh, double chance at minus 150 in maybe a parlay with Atalanta at minus 140 and Juve at minus 150? I mean, I'm obviously we're not doing that, but it's something for you to uh, pick. Uh, and maybe when you do a little bit of homework, you could go with that. And Matt is going to add over nine and a half corners in the game at minus 115. Um, I quite like that myself. I'm not going to jump on his bandwagon, but I may well uh, do that. And if I do, then I will uh, add that on BetUS TV.